Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and in today's video we'll continue our Flutter and Par series of videos going deeper into our Data Objects subseries. Today we'll be seeing relations. A relation is a way for you to connect multiple objects from one class to one or multiple objects of another class. Now you might be asking yourself, so we didn't see, we didn't we, we see pointers for that purpose, but yeah, where uh, pointers allow you to connect one object from one class to multiple objects of another class. Sometimes you need more objects to be related. So imagine this situation, you have a album class and a songs class, and every album has multiple songs. You could potentially use pointers to connect those, but it will get very messy very fast because some albums have more uh, songs than others. So for that, uh, in uh, objective we have relations it allows you to have multiple objects connected at the same time to one or multiple objects of the other class to illustrate that let's go back to visual studio and we are here we have our uh, to do flutter uh, object i'm going to set uh, a few uh, gallery photos from our gallery class to this object and uh, if you remember when using pointers, we use the object ID to relate the, the, that information. For uh, relations, it will be the same. We use the object ID from the gallery class. Let me go back to Google Chrome quickly. So here I have three object IDs from my three objects inside my gallery, gallery class. I'm going to be using this data here to relate uh, or to the Flutter class. So one object here will point to those three objects inside the gallery. So to do that, let's go back to Visual Studio and I'm going to add a relation. We do that just by typing it to the Flutter, oops, dot add relation, then give it a name. Uh, the name is the property name that we'll show here in the columns and then passing the uh, parse object gallery. Here I specify the class that I'm going to connect and then dot set object ID to the object ID for that one object inside the class. So here I have the first one. I have also a second one, one and third one. Here I'm passing three lines, but of course you can pass in an array with all three objects at the same time. So at the end, we will do a to do flutter dot save and let's see what happens. If I do flutter run, choose my simulator, bring it to the front. There we go. If I go back to my Google Chrome, I have to refresh the screen so I can retrieve the latest schema. Now, if I scroll right, here I have my photos, which is a relation to the gallery class. And if you remember, I just saved this to one object. So what happens if I try to open an object where I did not save anything? So here I am in the to do Flutter class. If I click the relation, it will bring me to my photos uh, 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 property, which is my gallery relation, but I don't have any related objects because I didn't save it. So it's an empty relation. But if I go back and scroll right and get the object that, that, that I did save and click view relation, you see all three related objects are now in the gallery and their object IDs so here are the file contents that I can retrieve and display to my end user. And uh, this is very, very easy to use, but takes some practice to use it correctly because sometimes you need to better uh, architecture your software to work with relations because you can have multiple relations from class A to class B and from class B to class A. So I really recommend you try out uh, relations and use it as much as you can uh, prior to changing the design of your application because as it is very, very easy to do and very, very uh, flexible 
uh, it can bring to some confusion uh, when it's time to use pointers or relations. So I hope you like this video and hope to see you on the next one of this series soon. See you soon. Bye bye.